Okay. Um, the other one completely misses Jeff right now. He totally bounces off his shield and armor. Um, nice. Last one uh, that's up next to Abigail swings at her and it hits home dealing five to Abigail. <laughs> How much HP do I have? 17 max, so you're at 12. Alright. All right. I will take another swing at the wounded one. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, I just typed that into the chat. Fuck me. Alright. Roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! god damn it, yes. dude. What's going on, guys? What's going on, guys? <laughs> we should run away. <laughs> no, I can't fit through a hole that fast. Just take your swings and save Ryan. I don't want to <clears> deal <throat> with the hole like he's dropped dead and we're going to rest in the cave for five days. Alright, I roll. I attack the, the same wounded one. Make your attack. Oh, oh, oh my Lord. god. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I mean... We hit these dark. weird streaks. Like just know, it's terrible. Jen, go and ahead. And suddenly we just destroy like a mountain orc or something in one shot. Well, I mean, I knew it was going to be a, a bad roll day because Ryan started with a 20 and it can only go downhill from there. <laughs> 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 All right. I still want to get that dagger, though, but whatever. You guys want to try it. I No. It'll yes. break. Oh, didn't work quite. Abigail's shooting slowly. Oh my god, five, really? He rolled a one, though, a natural one. I know. Yeah. Someone's about to get hit in the knee. No, no. <laughs> no such luck this time, unfortunately. Uh, uh, is my turn? It's out of gun. What do you do? I'm going to go ahead and cast uh, Moderate Heal on Ryan. You can't. I mean, you'd have to, like, squeeze between the skeletons. He's on the other side of them. Oh, he's on the other. I thought it was me and Ryan because we were okay. Because he went to the door, right? That's the. He went to the door. He's on the other side of the skeletons. You can't reach him. Fuck. How many skeletons are there between me and Ryan? Is it two or one? Two, two. Fuck. <laughs> um. I thought they're tied together. Ryan and JP are tied together. Can I touch the rope and that'll heal him through proxy? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um. All right, I'm sorry, Bregger. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just attack the skeleton that's already hurt. And hope to God this fucking roll works out. Bregger tries to mumble something but can't because he's so fucked up that there's blood all over his face. Cut <laughs> yeah. go. takes a mighty swing. 20. 20 plus 2. 20 and strikes a skeleton <clears throat> and technically crits the skeleton. Nice. This is the wounded yes. one, right? Yes. Technically. Double damage, 2d6. Please, please, please. Don't be a one. Seven. <laughs> you crack it in the ribs again, and the thing just like tumbles to the side and falls to the ground, inanimate. Okay. Nice. The remaining one oh boy. turns to face you oh and nice. takes a stab at you, Tudagub. Seemingly angry that you've slashed its friend. One's friend. Um, and it does stab you, but you're a large creature, so you take d12 instead of d8. Uh, four damage. Okay. All right. Which brings you I'm to 24. Still the Going other. To take still the other skeleton. That one. One. What? Is there more? There's, there were three in the room. Yeah. Uh, you know, the, there's one more that gets a, an attack. Okay. The one behind you guys, uh, trying to stab at Jen, who keeps dancing out of the way. Yeah. Stabs at her again. Hits her. For Aww. three more damage. You're at nine, Jen. You guys take way too much damage. <laughs> All right. I'm going to cut up the one that's in between us. Okay. God damn it. God, God, dude. How is that even possible? I don't know, man. Three, six, five, and two out of a possible 20. <laughs> six is my highest last roll out of the four. All right. Just move on. I don't need to talk about it. Keep going. <laughs> Okay. Apparently, I'm, I'm having like a meltdown in the middle of this fight right now. <laughs> so, with just one remaining skeleton, can I can I walk around in a way that I'll be able to evade him? Like, yes. Can I can I walk next to JP without him getting a free hit? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'll do that. And can I do an attack as well? 
Um, sure. But we're getting in kind of tight quarters here. So there were two skeletons, like one here and one here. Mm -hmm. The one on the left is dead again. And we've got Tudagub and Vincent that are attacking the other guy. So you can kind of like squeeze past, if you want to actually get next to Tudagub, you have to squeeze past him and Vincent and get behind them where you won't be able to attack that skeleton. You could probably hit the one that Abigail is fighting. Okay. But to get uh, next to Tudagub, you won't be able to to um, be attacking the same one that Vincent and Tudagub are. Okay. Well, that's fine. Um, so I'll, I'll move into that position and I'll, I'll attack the one that's attacking Abby. Okay. Cool. So you slide. Can I, I use my uh, air, my bow for that. He's too close quarters for a bow. Okay. Roll the hit. All right. Roll the 20 plus 4. 16. 16 is a hit. Yes. All right. D8. One. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Oh, God. It tickled a zombie. Uh, oh, my God. He, he doesn't really notice it, the, the damage at all. <laughs> it's kind of oh, like a, huh? God. Fly landing on me? Um, Abigail. All right. I guess I'll take another shot. Wait, is there a... Nah, all right. I'll just take another shot. So you're still shooting between 17. JP and... You're shooting between Tudagub and Vincent at the other one, still. Yeah, I just had 17. Okay. Which is a hit. D6 yeah. damage. Six. Nice. Okay, nice. it's respectable. <laughs> I mean, it's the best I can do, guys. <laughs> so Ryan is standing next to me now? Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do the uh, the scalp massage real quick in the middle of battle. Mm. I do like right. a good head massage. Good head massage. <laughs> All right, so you take a step back and kind of like reach back and start massaging his head. Yeah, and let me. Is that a D eight? What is moderate? So you want to? Oh, that's you want to do moderate. Yeah, D10 so it's one D ten plus plus one. Okay. Seven. Not bad. Take it. You are at eleven. All right. So I can I swing again, or is that the same turn? No, it's just uh, wait. I was at I was at two. I'm at nine. Yeah. 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 I'm sorry. Just I like me. Nah. <laughs> We're nine lives, buddy. Same turn. So I think that's the end of us. Um. Yeah. That's the end. Skeleton's turn. One of them swinging again at Tudagub. Uh, and hits him. Oh. And the other one trying to hit Jen, but she just won't be touched. Yeah. Tudagub. You t where did I put that? Tudagub, you take two damage. So I'm at 22? Yeah. Okay. All right, let me take my whiff right here. <laughs> there we go. Oh. All right. You strike for D8 plus four damage. There we go. That's the uh, old Vincent. Yeah. The one in front I of you he's back. in a pile of dust <laughs> and broken bones and shattered dreams. Does Green Day start playing? I then yell, okay, I'm reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> is there an accent when you say that? or is it just Okay, I'm reloaded. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Who goes next? Uh, Ryan does, I think. I will, yeah. Okay, so I will... Um, I will attack the only one I can reach. Yeah, well, the only one left. Yeah. Roll the 20 plus 4. 11. Miss. Mm. Your sword gets tangled up in his chain mail without damaging him. Genevieve. Yes. All right. Who had the dagger in the bag? Tadagub. I run to Tadagub. I grab the dagger and I stab the skeleton with it. Doesn't she the have to steal that out of my bag? Bags. Oh. You have to, you're going to have to try and like rummage through his bags and find it. Throw me the dagger, GP. I mean, Tadagub. It's... No. Can't he throw it to me and then I use it in one turn? 
Uh, well, I would have to willfully throw it to you, and I'm not going to. He would have to sacrifice <laughs> his attack to find the dagger in his bag and throw yeah. it to you. We can deal with that after this. Well, that's really boring. I wanted to try it on the dude. All right. Roll d20 plus four. Uh, you can't shoot this guy with your bow. Oh. He's too close to you. Mm. You can change weapons. Stab at him with your short sword if you want. Nah, can I just get away from him? To like a distance where I can shoot next turn or something? Uh, maybe, but now you've got three people blocking your way. Instead of being able to like shoot between two people, you'd have like two people and then a third in between them. You, you might be able to, depending on how the party moves. So yeah. I'm gonna do that. Okay. I don't want GP to have to use his heals on me. Alright, so you back up to a more advantageous position with your bow. Um, who's left? Tadagab, you're left. Uh, roll with the one that Vincent uh, hit for 12 earlier. He's dead. That one died. Oh, that one died. Okay, so roll with the last one that's left. Okay, you turn around, swing your club at the remaining skeleton. And roll a 13. Which is just a miss. Okay. Next time. <laughs> Next time. It's, you guys are getting a little better. You're warming up. It's been a week. Um, the remaining skeleton takes the sword and thrusts it at uh, what's his name? Bregor. And misses Bregor by a mile and a half. Nice. Party's turn. Alright, I'll take a swing at it. Do I get powered up by the skeletons? Or is it only blood? You don't notice any change in your sword. 19. 19 is a hit. D12. D8, uh, D8 plus 4. Oh, right. Not large. Nine. Nine. Okay. Remaining skeleton lives. Unlives. Unlives. Bregor. Yeah. <laughs> the unlived Remains skeleton. dead. It remains dead. Mm -hmm. Bregor. I attack. Go for it. 19. Hit. All right. D8 damage. Three. Three. Okay. You also swipe at the skeleton, cracking off a few more ribs. Um, Abigail? I'll take you, shots. Yeah, oh. you can get a shot this round. Just 18. Hit. Nice. Three. Three. Tadagub, um, Vincent squeezed into where you were to get his attack and just kind of blocking you out a little bit. Um, you're a pretty tall guy. You're kind of like leaning over in these tunnels so you're not hitting your head. You might be able to bash over the head of those guys, but it's going to be at a slight penalty. What's the slight penalty? Two. So it'd be just straight up D20? Yeah. I'll go ahead and roll for that. Go for it. But now you're blocking Abigail's shot. Hit. 17. Is that just a 1d6? Just 1d6. 6. six. Nice. Yes. Very nice. Um, the remaining skeleton has lost most of his ribs, a couple more of his teeth, lower part, actually the lower part of his jaw is entirely missing. One hand is gone, but it's okay. He's got the other hand still. And he like comes at you guys one more time, slashing at Vincent. And just like cracking into your mail, but not hurting you. Vincent. I shall do that honest. Roll d20 plus 5. 12, not a hit, I'm guessing. Not a hit. Not a hit. Bregor? Okay, yes, sir. Nope, I am not. Oh, oh. fuck, man. Wow. <laughs> he drops his bow. <laughs> My god, he did it again. Uh, yep. The bow slides off your back. You still have your sword, <laughs> yes! but the bow falls. The asthmatic ranger. <laughs> I'm attacking with my sword. I'm, okay. <laughs> I'm yeah, sorry, guys. No, you're attacking with your sword, and you like stumble, <laughs> and the bow that's like strapped across your back, like it, the the bow string pops off and it falls to the ground. Sweet. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, I guess it's it's Jen's turn. I'll wait. Um, Jen Tudagub is blocking your way. Oh. His big hairy butt is. Right where you're. So is there a way that I can tumble and shoot? If you crawl on. 
Maybe if you crawl underneath his legs and like crouch under there, you could shoot. Mm -hmm. That sounds so, gross. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't think you want to be there. But technically, you would be able to get a shot that way. All right, I'll do it. Shot it more than just the monster. <laughs> so I'll do twenty <laughs> plus four anyway. Uh, it's no, we're gonna do a, a penalty of two to hit. So it'd be d twenty plus two. All right. I cut my nuts as she goes for the shot. Oh, three. <laughs> I shoot JP's nuts. God damn it, Cheryl. I cupped him. I said it before. <laughs> no, it's fine. You just miss badly. You know, your your bow hits the ground as you're pulling out, and it just kind of pfft, arrow skims along the ground going nowhere. I give a look at Bregor to, like, so that we, now we have the same connection because we both saw the same thing. <laughs> so, yeah. Neil, a question for you before I make my turn here. Yeah. If I picked up Ryan's bow and took a shot with it, could I actually do that? It would just be <laughs> terrible, right? Um, you'd have to string it first. You're allowed to, but since you're not proficient and you're a priest, you'd get a minus five penalty, and it's kind of against your tradition to use weapons that deal... Uh, that priests, gen uh, priests use um, bludgeon weapons because they don't like to draw blood. It's okay. just one of those weird rules that's in second edition. Um, Okay. So it kind of goes against your creed, but you're technically capable of it. I was just curious if I could like do something like that in the future. So I'll just take a, a swing at it then with my. I guess I have to make another overhead swing. Yeah. Just a d20. Sixteen. Hit. D6 damage. Five. Five. <laughs> you crush off uh, half of the skeleton's shoulder. So he's legitimately just a spine and a head with two legs and an arm now, like. All the ribs are gone, just the one arm. Most of his head is caved in. You know, he's just kind of like... Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can deal with this. <laughs> uh, the limp skeleton tries to plunge its sword into Vincent again. And he actually hits you somehow for three damage. You are at 16. It took way too much damage from this fight. <laughs> Alright, I'll return fire. Well, we're Eight. getting our bad worlds out of the way. 19. Hit. And kill. But go yeah. ahead and roll damage anyway. D8 plus 4. 6, yeah. 6. Nice. You just finish him off. You break the spine in half, and the skeleton like flips to the other end and tumbles to the ground. All right, uh, HP recap, I'm at 22, Neil, or what is Ryan at, 7? Ryan's at 9, Jen's at 9, Jeff's at 16, JP's at 22. Let me look here. I say let's move all their weapons to a corner in case they come back to life again, or to death or something. Why don't we go throw them in one of those pits? I mean, what if they're, if they're like in Mario and they just come back to life every 20 <laughs> minutes or something? <laughs> I opt to throw them in one of the pits, but I can't squeeze Alright, let's there. throw them in the pits. I'm down for that. We have to squeeze them through the hole to do that, though. I can do that. I think it's so more guys, clever than just keeping what? dead skeletons around. Can we so just collect the bones of the skeletons and throw them in one of the pits? I think what we should do is just get the weapons of the skeletons and throw them into the pits. Mm. We can crush their heads. Yeah, but there's, they could probably reanimate, man. Just like in Mario. <laughs> Yeah, but without their heads, they'll probably have a severe hit penalty. <laughs> <laughs> Spoken like a true mm, DM. You don't know that. In some games, they still hit you when they have no head. Mm. Well, you guys do what you do. I gotta tend to, to Ryan's wound here. Uh, Why don't we just put all the weapons in like a corner or something? I don't know. And the buddy is like far, far away in another <laughs> corner. Do it if you want to. I actually yawn in game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, so. <clears throat> I go up and I, I crush the heads of all three of the skeletons. Okay. No problem. They've been crushed. I'm going to go ahead and moderately heal Ryan, so 1d10 plus 1. Uh, that's your last mod heal, right? Yep. Okay. For 8. 8. Nice. Ryan, you are at 17. Thank you, Tuttagub. No problem. And then uh, I want to rummage through my bag and get the dagger out. And, <laughs> and uh, stop Abigail with it. 
and uh, just kind of like toss it to Abigail and say, do what you want, don't break it. Yay. I look at the dagger and I say, ooh, shiny. Okay. Don't break it, I repeat, and uh, I me and Ryan are do still tied have... together, right? I asked you, do you have more heals? Not, not, now's not a good time. Um, yes, you and Ryan are still tied together. All right, so I do the tap on the back and point at the door. <laughs> All right, let's do this. So Maybe we should... Sorry to interrupt, I see. Maybe we should uh, spread the, um, the blue like special arrows between Gregor and I, so maybe we can try them on the mean people. Yeah, I, I grabbed four out of his bag already. Oh, can I grab the other ones? Or four or something? Yeah, I'd, I'd hand her four of them and say, All right. don't lose them. And then motion Ryan towards the door. <laughs> okay, uh, Ryan, do you pick up your longbow and restring it? Uh, yes, I do. Both of those things. <laughs> All right, so you walk through the door? Uh, yeah, after I, I pick shut. up my longbow. Okay. Yeah, I go to the, I go to the door mm -hmm. and... I do a perception check at the door. Okay. You don't notice anything amiss about it? Um, Looks like a wooden door. I'll can try I... my... Uh, oh. No, go, go ahead. ahead. You go. Uh, can I do my re like fine traps? I know it's 5%, but... Sure. And detect You don't noise. notice any traps whatsoever on the door. And detect noise. Okay, so you go up and listen to the door. You hear nothing coming from the other side. All right. I hide in the shadows right next to the door. <laughs> uh, Neil, question kind of outside of the game. Do our characters yeah. know that on the other side of this is the area where Ryan fell through by any chance or no? You're fairly intelligent creatures. You can figure out that, yeah, that's kind of the, probably the area. Okay. So I'll just make sure that the party's aware that Hey, Ryan fell through here. There's something inside of there that did a lot of damage or could do a lot of damage to us. Right. And I'll just motion he, Ryan to go forward. <laughs> he's also a wizard. He's got the like the stop or slow time or whatever it is. Sure. And I think sure. that's. I believe that's a clerical rounds. spell. But. Right. <laughs> so, do you have any kind of power or reasoning over a fellow cleric? None whatsoever. None at all. I mean, I can talk to him, but you said he was undead, right? Mm-hmm. I don't think he wants to talk to me. Okay. All right. <clears throat> um, so what I do is I go up to the door, and I open the door, but I, I don't go inside yet. I just look inside. Okay. You see... And I say, scream was that if there's trouble. Mm -hmm. that, that's my next move. <laughs> Good. <laughs> um, it opens up. You see the spiral staircase. You see five doors. Um, yeah. Is it safe? Okay. Do I see any creatures in there? No, all the doors are shut, except for the one you just opened. Okay. Is it safe, Brigger? Uh, yeah, it's safe to, to walk in here. Um, so can I can I walk to the spiral staircase? Yeah, you can walk to the spiral staircase. Okay. It goes up and down. <clears throat> so I, I turn to the party and I say, we have a couple options. We, can, we know it's through this other door to our left. We know that we're going to fight an undead. And I have no idea what kind of good things we're going to get out of it. All I know is that he's a priest. Or we can just go up or down the spiral staircase. Well, we can't get anything from killing him because we're not able to take anything out of here. So I think right. there's no shame in running <clears throat> from that fight. And it's, or I guess not having that fight to begin with. Right. My only concern is if, if he somehow gets through the door and we, we haven't added mob at one point. What do the rest of you guys think? What, should we go in and try to fight it? Yeah. Vincent says yes. Abigail? Mm, I think yes. Okay. 
Before we go in there... Because we're going to be all ready, so we're probably going to get the first uh, first hit. I think we still have to roll for it. But um, Before we go in there, I, I want to go check the door on the other side to where the it collapsed and check to see if... Would there be anything behind that, Neil? Was there space on the other side of the collapsed? Is there anyone there where I'm thinking? There was. There yeah. was space behind the collapsed rocks. I want to go open that and just peek my head in. Okay. Uh, door opens, you just see a stack of collapsed rocks. Okay. <laughs> Perfect. Um, all right, I guess I guess we can go through door number three. Okay. So this door that I'm pinging right here, mm -hmm. I slowly open it, but I don't go inside again. Okay. You. How much do you open it? All the way? Uh, just a crack? What? I open it... Well, I start opening it slowly, and if I see anything, I stop. Okay. Act undead. <laughs> um, you, well, you see the room, but you don't see the undead creature in the room. Okay. And I got the door all the way open? No. Well, this is, you first, okay, the door opens towards you, um, right. and it opens, it's a left-hand door. If, okay. So the back of the door will open up towards this area. So you'll be peeking from um, here. I see. Okay. Yeah. Like your line of sight will be this way as you open it. Gotcha. Um, so you crack it open a little bit and you're looking over at this area up here and you're not seeing any undead creature. You see the altar, you see everything else, but no creature. Is Where is the window at that we tried to climb through? That is right up here. Okay. Right above the altar. All right. So I turn to the party and I say, I think that he's either in the back of the room or he's gone on to another room. Cool. Okay. So I'm going to take my torch and walk into the room. All right. You stride into the room and you immediately see the undead uh, priest to your left. Like camping this corner behind the doorway. Mm. He's got an right. headshot. I'm going to drop swing. my torch and put my shield up, and then I'm going to charge at it and take a swing. Okay. Uh, initiative? I've been having the best rolls today, so I'll go ahead and do it. It's just a D10, right? D10. Two. Nice. You guys go first. Yeah. Nice. So, Vincent, I'll, I'll take my swing. you charge straight in at the critter. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> um, no. No. Yeah. <clears throat> next. 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 So I'm gonna. Okay. Well, I'll go last again. That's fine. Never mind. So I walk into the to the room, and I I'll uh, can I take a shot with my my bow? Yeah. All Are right, you using so one of the blue feathered arrows or a normal arrow? Uh, I'll use the blue one. Okay. And you I, only I, have four of those. Okay, yep, that's fine. Well, I can retrieve them, though, right? Yeah. Not, okay. like, in combat, but yeah. Right. Jen, okay, how many so arrows did you take from JP? I gave her five. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, I pull back my, my freshly restrung bow. And I do... do 20 what plus is it? Four. Okay. Uh, bad, bad string job. Yeah. The your arrow sails over the head of the creature, pinging against the wall, falling to the ground. I'd like to ask a question. Um so the guy's like an undead cleric, but I wanna know if I can still get like the bonus for sneak attack or not against You it. could, um in theory, but his front is to you. Sneak attack requires you to be at his back and for them to not know that you're there. It uh, requires you to sneak, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Okay, at least now I know. At least now yeah. I know. All right, so yes. I shoot at it with the blue uh, special arrow. Blue okay. feathered arrow. Roll to hit. D20 plus 4. Sure, yes. 21. Nice shot. Um, Thank you. Hit, you <laughs> You critical the, the creature. Yeah. So D 2d6 damage. 2d6, please. Six. Okay. 
Um, you strike it. Uh, I mean, your arrow, because he's somewhat fleshy, this guy. Uh, oh. So you strike into a section of flesh on the thigh. All right. And he still. So, two questions, Neil. One, is this considered a new encounter so I get my reroll? Um, no, because you have to have at least five minutes of, or like ten minutes in between encounters. Okay. Or, you know, there's got to be like. You just walked out of that of the room, so this is the same encounter. Sure. Uh, two, if I cast Silence, that means I can't cast spells either, right? Correct. But, but it also means you can't cast spells for... What is it? Oh, I forgot what it was. Um, let's see. Using the spell, complete silence prevailed in the affected area. All sound is soft. Conversation so is impossible. Six spells rounds. cannot be classed that require verbal components. Um, you are fourth level, and it's two, D, two rounds per level, so eight rounds. Oh. I'm going to go ahead and cast silence then. Okay, it's only a 15 foot radius, so where do you want to center it? Um, how much dis distance is between me and the. Uh... Actually, the spell can be centered upon a creature, and the effect then radiates from the creature and, uh, and moves as it does. I'll do An that unruly then. creature gets a re receives a saving throw versus spell, so you can try and cast it on him. And if he moves, he gets, or and he gets a saving throw versus spell. Spell. If it fails, it's stuck on him. If it's if he passes, then he can move outside of the radius. So if I just uh, like cast it on the ground, does he still get a saving throw against it? No, like if you cast it just in that area, yeah, it's stuck, right? So the. The, the saving throw he gets when you cast it on him is whether or not you actually cast it on him or just behind him. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So the best thing to do would just be to cat, I guess. I'll, I'll just cast on him. I'll let him roll the saving throw. Cool. Versus spell. Okay. Um, I guess you won't know the effect of whether or not he passed until someone tries to move outside of where the radius would be. So. Even if I, because it says it, it's like you can't talk when you're in it, so. Yeah, well, I mean, if so, he pa if he passes the save, then it's centered like one foot behind him. So you're still going to be within the range. Oh, of I see what you're saying. Foot. So it went through. He just it, we don't know if it's going to be on him or behind him. Right. Okay. Cool. All right. Cool. So for That's the meantime, right. he's kind of cornered right now. So we have this the the priest here. Vincent ran in right there. Uh, Gregor pivots over here. Abigail goes over here to get a shot, and you walk in right there. So he's kind of trapped in this little corner area. Okay, cool. Okay. The blue arrow didn't change anything, right? Like, that we noticed? You didn't see any effect from it whatsoever. Okay. Can I see the pendant on his chest, by the way, and make out what god it is? Vincent's blocking your view. Okay. Okay, next round. Um... Silence prevails. Uh, he... moves... He starts walking uh, this direction for a little bit. And then... kind of... Da, 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 da. And... casts a spell on himself. <laughs> okay. Oh. Yeah, he's, so he just walked outside of the area of effect. Gotcha. Um, yeah, he casts a spell and his ragged his rags glow uh, blue. All right, I'm gonna take I a say, swing uh -oh. at him. Ready? Okay. Yeah, your turn. Yay! Yay! Hit. Is that a hit. That is Yay. a hit. Roll. Uh, D6 for damage. D8, right? For six? Yeah, I'm sorry. D8. 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 What? Eight. Eight. Not bad. Still better than the best I can do. <laughs> well, it's better than what I've been doing like six out of my seven turns. So. <laughs> <laughs> you strike him with your sword. If he were alive, he would be in pain, but he's not, so he's not. <laughs> uh, Rigor. I take out another one of the blue arrows and shoot at him. Okay, you keep your position? Mm. Uh, yes. 
Okay, so you're still over here-ish. No, what I want to do, actually, I want to get behind one of the pews and shoot from behind one of the pews. Okay, so you climb back over a couple of pews. You're back here now. Yeah. And you fire over it at him. Yeah. Roll the hit. Uh, blue arrow still? Yes. Twelve. Miss. Your arrow sinks... Actually, your arrow sinks into his robes for a moment, or his rags, and then just falls out. Okay. Put a little more strength in your next one, Breger. <laughs> it's this new string. I, I okay, I understood. Abigail. Um, can I like go on to another like bench or whatever you called it, like on the other mm -hmm. side? I don't know how to do the pointy thing, like the green thing. Green. You mean a click? You just yeah, click wherever it's I at. click, but click it doesn't hold. do anything. Click, click and hold. hold. Yeah, sorry. Oh, hold the click. Can I go here. Way over there. Yeah. And shoot. Um, you can probably get to about here if you're climbing over pews. All right, I'll go. I'll go here and shoot. Okay. Go for it. With the blue arrow. Right. Eight. Miss. God damn it. Um. How far is Jeff from me? Uh, right like next two, to me. like five, six feet. Okay. Uh, I want to cast strength of stone on him. Okay. No, uh, I D4? Is it? Uh, yes. Is it D4 or D4 plus 1? I think it's... Let me look. It is... 1D4 points are to a minimum of 16, whichever is higher. Right, so D4. Okay. 4. 4? So I'm at 21. Um, no. You're at 18 30. Nice. Once you hit 18 strength, there's these like bizarre rules. But you're at 18 30. So you get. Uh, you still have your normal plus one to hit, but now you have plus three to damage instead of plus one. So instead of plus four to damage, you get plus six. Oh, cool. wait a minute. The, the chat does bring up something good. Aren't I silenced? <laughs>